welcome to The Man Games with our video going up yesterday on how to create John Cena LA Knight as a tag team. I thought, hey, today let's do how can we create Jey Uso and Cody Rhodes as a tag team. So I'm going to be showing you where to get better creations of them off the community creations, how to set them up as a team with motions and the victory motions, and then we will go into a gameplay part of the video where I'll play as Jay and Cody Rhodes and we'll see if we can beat the judgment day for those tag team championships. If you are new watching the man games, make sure you subscribe to the channel, make sure you're liking this video and drop us a comment down below who do you think is going to walk out the winner at Fastlane. So this is the creation of Jey Uso that you want to download, so obviously this attire on the left here. And the true creator of this is What's The Status, hashtag 73109. And to find this Jey Uso, use the hashtags What's The Status. And then next up we have this creation of Cody Rhodes, so this is his Wrestlemania themed attire. This attire here on the left here. And the true creator of this is Game Vault, hashtag 06469. And to find this Cody Rhodes, use the hashtags Cody Rhodes, WrestleMania, or Game Vault. Right then, so now we have those creations on your WWE 2K23. So the Jey Uso creation will just go automatically onto your Jey Uso that's already on the game. Don't know why that does that, but I only just recently realised that that does happen, which explains why a few times I've downloaded things and think it's just not worked. So now we're going to go across to options, then we're going to go to roster, then we're going to click on edit teams. So you're going to want to press R3 to create a team. And then as you can see here, we've got Cody and Jey Uso as the ring name. There's no, obviously you can't have the names as the team announcement and obviously they don't have a name as a team. So I thought about the main eventers, I thought that would be a good name but you can't have that. So I just left it as none. And then we've got Cody there, which is under WrestleMania 38, and then Jey Uso there for 1 and 2. Crowd reaction, obviously we want this to be cheer. And then obviously tag entrance, we want them to come out together. And then going into the entrance settings, so for motion, I chose Get Hype. Now the reason why I thought that was, is because obviously when Jay comes out, he's always got a lot of energy. And in this entrance, Cody lifts his arms up a lot. So that is like in his entrance when they go, Whoa! But unfortunately, which I had forgotten, in the entrance music, you cannot have Cody's entrance music because you can only have it on him as a single competitor, which I think is stupid, makes no sense. Um, but yeah, so that is why we've got Jay Uso's music as the entrance music. Unfortunately, I would have rather had Cody Rhodes. But seeing as we have chosen his music now, because we had to, all the other settings are just on Cody Rhodes, and some of them there isn't even an option for Jey Uso anywhere, neither. Apart from the Barricade movie, which is just Arena movie, because there is no option for Cody or Jay. And then for the cast change, just make sure that Cody is, on, is set on number one and Jay is set on number two. And then into their victory settings. So for the first motion, I chose the Hooligans. I thought this was a really good fit for these two. And then I chose Get Hype for the heel motion. Just, I know it's not really a heel motion, but I just thought it was a very one that I could see both of them doing. So I thought it would be good to have two ones that I could actually see them being quite similar at doing as two options here. And then for the first title motion, we have Generic Tag Champion 1. For the heel motion, we have Generic Tag Champion 3. And then for the other settings, obviously it's still Jey Uso for the music, Cody for the Titan, for the stage, for the apron, for the banner. And once again, cast change, Cody wants to be number one and Jay wants to be number two. So now you've seen that, now we're going to go into the gameplay part of the video. So I'll play as Cody and Jay going up against the Judgment Day. Unfortunately though, you cannot have both sets of the Tag Team Championships go up on the line, which I think is pretty stupid really in my opinion. So it's just going up for the Smackdown Tag Team Championships in this video, unfortunately. And here you can now see a full entrance, with, especially with Jay, with his right attire on there which I think looks really really cool so yeah who's gonna win Jay and Cody on the Judgment Day so I'm not gonna lie I don't think that Jay and Cody are going to win especially now with if, if maybe Cody if maybe Dominic sorry hadn't retit, won back his North American Championship I thought well I thought well maybe they could lose it because maybe they could do a down spiral of the Judgment Day but with him winning it back I can't see them losing their championships now so yeah, I do think they will return over Cody and Jay. Maybe call shenanigans, really. I think it's probably going to be 
just thought, wow, they'll lose, and then it's going to be Cody being like, did I make the right choice bringing him over to Raw? I could see something like that happening. Oh, I mean, even, you know, it didn't really make any sense, but I mean, maybe you could have Sammy and Kevin Owens cost them the titles. Maybe. I, I, I don't know. I'm pretty sure Cody would love to work with Sammy and Cody would love to work with Kevin Owens as well. So maybe that's a way you get around that, maybe. And another double team here by Cody and Jey Uso. So also I can see John Cena and LA Knight beating the Bloodline. Um, Seth Rollins is probably going to return over Nakamura, I would have thought. Um, I'm pretty sure there is two other matches, but at the moment I cannot think of what those matches are. I think, it, is it Asuka, Charlotte and Ia for the women's title? I think, um, I think, well, I hope Ia returns. Oh, dive, but no, no one's home. Oh, strike there from Damien. Oh, kick as well, oh. Come on, Cody, get him. Could I, oh, I was going to go for Finn and try and knock him off. No, we don't want them to make the tag. Yes. Oh, it's a cheap shot there from Finn. Nicely done, nicely done. Taking out the leg. And now can we hit a signature move? Can we hit a signature move? Oh, no, he reversed it. Nicely done, Jay, nicely done. Super kick to the gut. Oh, Finn there was ready. Don't let him make the tag. Yes. Super kick to the head. Come on, Jay, go up, go up. Can we hit the splash? Can we hit the splash? Can we hit the splash? And we have done one, two, three, and there we have it. We have new tag team champions. Well, I do hope you did enjoy this video today and you did find the tutorial part helpful and I hope you did enjoy this gameplay part of the video as well. If you did so, please think about subscribing to the channel if you haven't already, if you already have. Make sure you've got those notifications turned on then you'll know when our next video goes up on the channel. You can also find us on social media at The Man Games on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. We are also on threads and TikTok as well. In the description below, there will be a link to subscribe to our newsletter as well. By doing so, you'll get a weekly email that you know what goes up on the channel. So thank you very much for watching and supporting The Man Games today, and we will see you on the next video. Hey guys, former WWE Superstar Hornswoggle here, and you are watching The Man Games. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, follow this channel, like this video, and let us know in the com comments, in the comments below, See, this is why WWE didn't let me talk. I'm not very good at it. But let us know in the comments below if you're loving all of this great content and what you want to see next. Take care.